Cone Health installed new body scanners to, at the entrance to the Moses Cone Emergency Department. The system went online this morning. WFM News News Daniel Cruz is outside the hospital to explain why hospital leaders pushed for the technology. Chad, as you mentioned, these body scanners officially went online today. They've been testing them for a few weeks. Everyone that goes through the emergency department entrance here at Moses Cone Hospital will have to walk through those scanners, whether you're a visitor or a patient. The emergency department can be a very stressful environment. Inside, people are often dealing with an untimely illness or crisis, making it a very vulnerable place. That's led Cone Health to install these new touchless body scanners at the entrance to Moses Cone's emergency department. Absolutely, so it's a proactive approach to, to violence uh, all over the nation. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist is already using metal detectors in most of their emergency departments. Forsyth Medical Center installed metal detectors last year, and last spring, Duke Hospital in Durham installed them at every hospital entrance. Cone Health's Executive Director of Security, Chris Cromer, says the new body scanners will improve safety for patients and employees coming into the hospital. This type of technology at Disney, you have them at a lot of your department stores, you have them uh, in your uh, large uh, venues like football stadiums and places like that. So this is not Big Brother, this is just simply a way for us to keep our patients, our visitors, and our guests and our staff safe. I've personally been hit, kicked, spit on, and many other things. Trish Richardson is the president of the North Carolina Nurses Association. The group recently put out a survey that found 49% of nurses saying they have personally witnessed workplace violence over the last two years. 27% said they were a victim. Richardson says those numbers were not shocking based on her experience, but she's glad to see hospitals across the state taking a proactive approach. Again, working in concert with law enforcement and hospitals and seeing those first steps with the scanners will go a long way, in my opinion, my hope and prayer is to bring those numbers down. Here in the Triad, Cone Health plans to add more scanners to hospitals over the coming months. So we have a plan uh, to install these in every hospital. Uh, ED um, between now and, and February of 24. So that's our plan for now and we'll see where it takes it from there. In addition to the body scanners here at Moses Cone Hospital, Cone Health says they're always reviewing their safety protocol in an effort to make sure that patients and employees are safe at all of their triad campuses. Live in Greensboro, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.